Hi guys, so I filmed this video one month ago, but I'm only uploading it now because I have exams, whatever and whatnot. But here are 16 everyday outfits that you can wear on any occasion, so let's get it started. The first outfit, I have with me a very simple, basic pullover and some really really basic jeans. To spice things up, I switch my jeans for a gingham printed skirt and together with my shoulder bag, just to add a little bit of element to it. For the shoes, I'm going with my leopard printed flats or white shoes or like honestly any type of sneakers you have. Honestly, I love this outfit. Like I didn't even thought I had it in me to kind of just like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna pair this and this. I layered this sweater together with a white blouse and some white leg pants and just to give it a little bit of sass, I kind of paired a bag with it that's a little bit more formal. So honestly, any top would have been fine but I love my textured top. So one way I paired this was to wear a textured top together with any jeans honestly and pair it with a shoulder bag. So for the shoes, I actually wore a high cut converse because I thought it looks damn good. Like my high top converse is kind of like an army green color and then the top is kind of like pastel green. So it just kind of matches. Another way to look freaking feminine is to pair it with a skirt. So this skirt is kind of like A-line skirt but with grid patterns on it. You can also pair it with a off shoulder to show off the sexy sexy neckline. Pair it with a black bow to look extra cute and I think now you guys have to tolerate 5 seconds of me trying to struggle to put that bow into my hair. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. So let's get back to basics. Let's pair a printed top together with some really complicated gridded skirt. And yeah, you have an outfit. So I decided to make this up mix I decided to mix this up a little by pairing it with an entirely black outfit, a black denim jacket, black jeans, black heels, and this just gives it a really edgy kind of look, you know? Guess I'm not so basic after all. <laughs> And now because I've talked so much and you guys listen so much, I'm really thirsty. So let's just take a moment and breathe. So if you girls are not afraid to reveal that plunging sexy neckline, I would say go for it. It's your body, you know? But if you are, wear a cardigan over it and you'll feel so much more protected. And it kind of to give a little bit more of an accent to the look. Oh god, what's with their weird dancing? You can also switch up this outfit by changing the cardigan color to grey and your jeans to white. This gives you a totally, completely actually, different look and it is so freaking refreshing. I'm a sucker for cardigans. I promise you, if you do not have a cardigan, invest in one or maybe two. It's seriously damn useful. <laughs> So you can wear any white sneakers to match the accent of the white jeans and what I did was actually I folded up the ends of the jeans just to reveal some of that sexy sexy ankle action. And there you have it. One top, two outfits, BAM! So pairing the same coloured outfits is freaking risky because I would either look like a really darn cute princess or a freaking aimless ball of cotton candy. So if you do not want to look like a aimless ball of cotton candy, what I actually did was to pair it with a light wash mom jeans to get at the dress. So this outfit is pretty darn cute and it's inspired by the 60s with all the pastel green, pink and blue going on over there. And 
so I decided to pair it with my silver Dior bag, which honestly isn't mine. It's my mom's, but she never has to find out about this. So I'm not. Yeah, let's just not tell her. <laughs> Layering is always a good option when you have nothing to wear. So one way I did it was to layer a white top over the dress and to pair it with a shoulder bag just to give it a little bit more edge. And there you have it, four ways to style a dress. Okay, maybe this should be my next video. So this outfit is actually inspired by Jenny and I bought this top that she has only then mine is probably a ripoff but ripoff or not, it still looks pretty darn cute. So I'm bringing back the gingham printed skirt and to pair it with this top. Should I call it the Jenny top? I honestly don't know what kind of top it is. But yeah, I thought it also looks really cute and to pair it with my shoulder bag which is honestly a classic in this video. So yeah, that's all I have today. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!